go. Welcome everyone, Ramadan Mubarak. Welcome back to our Ramadan crafts. Today, we're gonna to be making some, uh, some Ramadan sheep and goat hand puppets. Um, so in your kit, you should have two, two pieces of paper with your sheep and your goat and some colored pencils or something to just color with. Um, I'll be using markers, but you should have a box of colored pencils. Um, and you'll need to grab some scissors to cut out your puppets um, and some tape. So let's get started. So in your pack, you should have two pieces of paper, uh, one with your sheep printout and your goat printout and a pack of colored pencils. Um, you will need to grab a pair of scissors, some tape, um, and anything else you want to color with. I will be using markers, um, but you can use anything to color decorate these animals. Um, yeah, so what I'm going to start with is coloring my animals. So you can use any color you want. This is your creation. So just start going in and start coloring. So you can use these puppets for, for some puppet shows. Um, Ramadan uh, shows for your family, your friends, um, or you can use them to play. You can use them to play with. Um, yeah, so just start coloring. Um, I am choosing to make my sheep pink, um, but you can make it whatever color you want. Um, and take your time on this. You don't have to rush this. Make them look as pretty as you want. Um, yeah, so, yeah, so do take your time coloring, um, whichever the colors, whatever you're, you want to use. Um, like I said, I'm using markers for this, but you can use colored pencils or even paint. You could paint these. Um, yeah. So, so um, your your uh, So once you've colored all of these, um, here is my example over here. This is the goat. Um, I made it a blue goat. Um, so you should have this your animal colored and these two sheets of paper. You can choose to color them if you want. You don't have to. They're gonna be the, the places where you put your fingers to move the mouth. So grab your scissors. Um, you can start cutting or have, have an adult help you cut these out because there are some tough places to cut. But um, cut these out as well as you can. Make sure, uh, the parts that you should have cut out are, like I said, the animal, your goat or your sheep, and these two rectangles. So I'm going to cut these out. And I will show you how to fold them once I'm done. Yeah. So like I said, there are some, make sure you're, you have somebody around you who can help you cut these out. There are some tough parts to cut. Um, yeah, so you can use these for, like I said, your puppet shows, your play, play some like makeup, made up games. Um, so, all right, so once you've cut these out, you should have your animal and these two pieces of paper. So 
that so what we're going to do you can see there's some dotted lines on the animal over here yep. and some dotted lines over on your rectangles so the dotted lines being those are where you're going to fold um and also just to make the front of the animal you're going to want to fold on these lines too so the dotted lines and these solid lines here so what i'm going to do is i will fold this back and do my best to fold along this solid line here, just like that. And then I'll do, what I'll do is I will meet, I'll fold the head over this way and meet the top of the animal with the bottom black line. So it just looks something like this. So I'll put, I'll, uh, again, I will push it, fold it over and that should follow the, the dotted line on the inside. And I'll fold that over, make sure this is nice and crisp. And then I'm gonna fold it once again backwards over this bottom line here, just like that. Fold it just like this. So you should have something that looks like this. <laughs> this will be the your animal's mouth over here. And when you fold it over, it's about to be closed. So it should look like this over here, and it should look like this on the back, just like that. So once you folded this, you're going to take these dotted lines and fold it back along those lines, just like this. Fold it back. There you go. So you fold these back and do the same with the other one. Just like this. Fold that and fold this. So these are gonna be where our fingers go on the back of the puppet, which means we need to take our newly folded rectangles and we're going to tape them to the back like this. So this paper you have is a lot thicker, which means you can it'll be easier to use some tape to keep these in place instead of glue just so it stays longer. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I have my tape and I'm going to place it on the insides, just like this. And these will go on the back right here, just like this, put this down. and fold that and put that down just like that. And that should be the top. And now you'll do the same thing with the bottom. Get my tape and put that on the inside here and over here. And now the second one is going to go on the bottom half, just like this. And there is your Ramadan puppet, <laughs> your sheep puppet. And so I'll do this one more time, just so you can see the animals your your cutout rectangles. Fold it like this. Fold it again. And fold it like this. And there's your second puppet. 
So you could use these for, you could have these two animals do whatever you want, have some play going on. Um, yeah, so <laughs> um, these are, they're pretty fun. They're very fun. Um, you can make the two interact with each other. Um, have have a Ramadan conversations, do whatever you would like for, <laughs> you could use them uh, for, for, for any of your uh, projects. So let's see, let me finish this up. Get this down. And there is your second Ramadan finger puppet. And so there you have your two two color puppets. You say Eid Mubarak. <laughs> um yep, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Have fun coloring your, your puppets, um, have fun playing with them, and have a good Ramadan. <laughs> um, yeah, Ibu Mark. <laughs> um.